Hi everyone, my name is Chris Hoffman and let me show you some reggae grooves. Hi and welcome to today's lesson. It's about reggae. And you might be wondering what this white kid from Germany has to teach about reggae. And you're absolutely right. I can teach you the notes, but reggae music is much more about feelings than technical things. It's the feeling behind the notes and the cultural background that makes it what it is. So I encourage you to listen to authentic reggae music and drummers like Carlton Barrett with Bob Marley, Vinnie Colaiuta with Sting, he also plays amazing reggae grooves. Check out Jost Nichols' reggae course on our artofdrumming.com platform. The link is in the description below. He did a really good job of conveying his perspective and I also recommend to watch the recreating Bob Marley's drum sound video on our YouTube channel. So all of this will help you get an overview of this fascinating genre of music. And one last thing before we jump into the lesson, please let's use the comment section below to make this a source of appreciation and lots of inspiration for all of us for great reggae music. So I look forward to reading them and to um, yeah, listening to your song recommendations. Now, while I'm here, I want to give you a first a little introduction to three reggae grooves and some variations that I hope can give you the confidence to go along with your first reggae songs. Let's start with the most famous reggae groove, the one drop. And we focus on a ternary feel because I thought in a, in a more binary dominated modern pop music world, this might be beneficial for you to explore the triplet environment and get more and more comfortable. But you can certainly adapt these grooves to a binary feel as well. One first approach is to take the spang, spang, galang swing pattern and play it on the hi-hat, accenting beats two and four. The one drop is called one drop because beat one is empty. Instead, we play a bass drum and rim click in unison on beat three to create a backbeat. The hi-hat and bass drum are the constants, leaving our left hand free to play a little variation. So take a listen. And now let's bring this groove into a musical form of a four bar phrase. We play three bars of groove and play the snare drum variation in bar four. I want to show you another hi-hat variation that is not based on an ostinato, but is more syncopated and it goes like this. And now to complete this groove, let's add the bass drum and rim click on beat three.
Let's also play a slight snare variation within this groove. And now let's put this syncopated groove into a four bar phrase as well. Three bars groove followed by one bar of variation. One final one drop example is playing the bass drum on beats 2 and 4 to add a bit of momentum. If the music has emphasis on the downbeats, you can play the rockers. And for this example, I've chosen a binary feel. So we play even 16th and we are counting a 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a 1. And first, let's practice the 16th notes on the hi hat while accenting the 8th note off beats that match the organ accents of our practice loop. So here we go. And now let's add bass drum on beats 1 and 3 and snare drum on 2 and 4 as you might know from your basic pop and rock groove. And now let's play the rockers in a two bar phrase with some bass drum and snare drum variations in the second bar. If the music isn't as relaxed and needs a little more drive, then the stepper's groove might be a tasteful musical choice. It's a four on the floor groove with a backbeat on beat three and an eighth note hired with offbeat accents. The stepper's in its basic form sounds like this. The variation in the stepper's groove can be played 
in the hi-hat. Here's a syncopated hi-hat variation in every second bar of our loop. And now let's add the four on the floor bass drum to it and play three bars of the basic steppers and one bar of our hi-hat variation. So that's it for today and I hope these three reggae grooves, the one drop, the rockers and the steppers give you some variety and a deeper understanding to play your first reggae tunes. And even if you're not a drummer who plays reggae grooves on a regular basis, I think these grooves are worth exploring because they enhance your triplet feel and they are so different from your regular pop and rock grooves. Exploring different genres will never make your playing worse. It's always a gain in experience and a refocus on what you want to do. So I hope you enjoy practicing. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there. And finally, the old drum set is falling apart. So I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye. <laughs>